David from Men's Running, can you tell us a little bit about yourself and, and your blog, please? Um, yeah, well, I'm, I'm actually the editor of Men's Running Magazine, so we, we do a print product, but we also have a, a, a website um, which gets a, a pretty good uh, level of activity uh, on which we, we do a lot of product reviews, um, but we also do events and training advice. Um, so it's really a digital platform for our men's running brand, um, which, uh, which you know, gives us that opportunity to, to do stuff in real time. Um, and, and, you know, we find that tech... Is a big uh, is a big turn on for for men. Um, you know, consistently stories that we do on tech and particularly new tech uh, are, are well um, are well trafficked. So um, you know, review products that we do, um, it, it kind of makes sense. So that's pretty much where we're at, uh, really. So fantastic! Thank you so much, David. And you, child, the Tom Tom. How did you get on with that? Uh, yeah, well, I'll, I'll try and display it to camera. Um, so, for those who don't know, um, this is a GPS and heart uh, monitor watch, uh, all in one, uh, handy package. Um, Tom Tom re released the product, um, I think, about uh, a year ago. Um, this is the new, newer update of that product. The first product didn't come with heart rates. Um, so the big uh, the big thing about this product is that it comes uh, with no heart rate band. So you don't have to wear uh, a heart rate monitor band in order to be able to get um, the heart rate. It actually, um, I'm trying to demonstrate here, what you do is you, you put the watch about um, half an inch away from your, or a finger's width away from your, uh, put it in the camera there, from your wrist bone. And then these sensors on the back, which you can see there, those sensors on the back, uh, enable you to pick up your heart rate monitor, heart rate uh, through those sensors. Um, so as a runner, um, running with a with a with a chest band can be quite awkward or quite restricting. Um, I've actually been using this today. We we actually, in fact, we actually had a meeting with Tom Tom today, so it was quite fortunate that I was actually wearing it. Um, but the heart rate seems to be quite it seems to be quite accurate. I think when you start to think that you use other parts of the body to, to, to generate heart rate readings, you'd expect to be some uh, level of accuracy to, to, be, um, to, to come into it. Um, but, but it did seem to, to mirror my, the heart rates that I was expecting to see. Um, it actually uses the same technology as the Mio. I don't know whether anyone knows the Mio products. Um, Mio makes, uh, again, makes, um, they do a product called the Mio Alpha, which is a, uh, a, a wrist-mounted uh, heart rate monitor. So it actually uses their technology to power the heart rate part of the watch. Um, but obviously, TomTom Tom is, is well known in the market as a, as a GPS uh, and navigation product. So the, the GPS side of this watch uh, is, uh, is, is TomTom's own technology. Um, unlike uh, other products out on the market that, all of the um, all of the um, functionality is controlled by this button here. <laughs> so if you, um, I'm trying to do it backwards, backwards in the mirror, but basically if you if you uh, click that to the left, you should be able to see. Although it's obviously now in mirrored, um, it says uh, run treadmill stopwatch. So in order to be able to just set this going for GPS functions, you click once to the left, and then once again, and obviously it's not going to find them, but it's actually now trying to find the GPS signal. Um, you'll notice that the back is actually lit up as well, which tells you that you're trying to do some heart rate stuff. So one of the things that we look at as a parameter of um, ease of use is that ability to be able to get from putting it on your wrist, be able to start running. So just from seeing that, if you did nothing else to the watch and all you did was go outside, press the button twice, you'd pretty much find the GPS signal. Um, and for a lot of people who, who want a, a running product, Plug-in play is, is exactly what they want to be able to do. Clearly, there's a lot more to it than that. Um, I'm just going to go back on the watch. Um, if you scroll, back to the, so I'm going back to the home screen here. Um, if you scroll backwards, press the button. Um, you get some of the um, some of the statistical analysis. So battery storage, um, what version of GPS you're using. Again. Uh, the most recent products, this is actually a slightly older unit actually, the most recent products will have a, a newer version which gives you that the quick GPS start which is much quicker than just sitting waiting for the satellites. Um, if you go again to the right, uh, you can use it in, indoors on a, on a treadmill, I think it uses an accelerometer, 
So obviously you can't pick up GPS signal indoors, but um, it enables you to use an accelerometer to, to get uh, the same type of statistics that you would want to be able to find. Um, and there's also a basic stopwatch um, underneath that as well. Um, if we go back to the home page and then scroll down, um, there's, a, there's a number of different things here. You can set the clock, um, you set the heart rate sensors, you compare it with your phone, um, gives you some options and also you set up a profile. Um, as you were explaining with the, the, the Misfit product, this product also links to some proprietary software that TomTom Tom provide where you're able to go to further analysis of the product, uh, you're able to see your, um, your statistics, um, your training stats, laps, that kind of thing. Um, I believe it also gives you a virtual, a, a virtual pacer or a virtual partner where you can set in um, some statistics to be able to um, to, to track against t certain uh, targets that you might want to meet in training, for example. Um, I'm just going to scroll down and see if I can hit the options button as well. Um, there we are, training. So uh, on this menu, included in the training menu, um, you have uh, you can set a certain amount of goals. Um, you can also train within certain heart rate zones. So you set your heart rate parameters, um, easy tempo, that kind of thing. Set your heart rate zones, um, and also it gives you the opportunity to set um, laps either in kilometres or miles. So most um, GPS products out of the box will will click over to one kilometre or one mile. This gives you the opportunity to be able to set either those statistics or other statistics, or also to do manual lapping as well. Um, I'm pretty sure it actually also communicates Bluetooth with via Bluetooth or wirelessly to the software. But if not, you've got the, the lead, uh, the USB lead to plug in to be able to communicate to the software. Um, this product is priced £220, um, which puts it, I guess, um, probably towards the upper to middle end, or middle to upper end of the of the GPS market. It's certainly comparable to um, a, a Garmin 620, um, if anyone knows that type of product. Uh, it's very, very simple to use. I mean, that for me, that's the, the, the key thing, simple mm. to use. You've also got your heart rate, um, you've got your heart rate that's very easy to be able to access as well, um, and it's very easy to get up and running out of the box. Um, other than that, I can't really think of anything else to say. So um, okay, Thank you so much, David. It sounds like the perfect runner's watch, really. Definitely, especially definitely hearing for, it from you. Yeah. Well, we, I mean, literally, we had a training day today with with some people through the magazine, and we gave out um, twelve of these little babies. So um, everybody was pretty excited to get yeah. uh, get a watch, and and also they were using them within uh, fifteen minutes of receiving the product. So it kind of shows you that you know they're definitely um, there's definitely that ease of use, but but also uh, people are quite generally quite excited to get. Um, mm -hmm. Get something different as well, you know. I mean, yeah. Tom haven't been in the market that, that long, um, and they're making good products. So, fantastic. Well, thank you so much, David.